We're in our quiz and we're going to add a matching question type this time. Let's go down to add, add a new question. And we're looking for matching, which is the next one in the list. We we'll choose add and we'll put in the name of our quiz as the question name with question, I think it's four. Yes, question four. Our question text is going to be select the most common file extension for each graphic type. So this is a matching question. So things need to match. It's going to be worth one. We can put in general feedback if we like. And here we have the answer and the correct, sorry, the question and the correct answer that goes with it. So the question will be a photo and the type will be JPEG or the answer. So the common file type for a photo is a JPEG. Question number two, a common file type for an animation is a GIF. You can have an animated GIF. The next one is an image with a transparent background. You may or may not know what that one is. It is a PNG. We clicked on add three more. So that was the blank for three more questions because we needed one more question to be added onto our list. And that is vector illustrations there and a vector illustration can be saved as an SVG. Now notice there's two more questions here. If we don't fill them in, they won't appear as part of the question. So we don't need to worry about them. Combined feedback is all normal and multiple tries. We can put in hints if they have multiple tries. Let's save changes, preview our question. And this is what it looks like. It came up with select the most common file extension for each graphic type animation. We can go through and find for animation. We can choose what the correct answer is. We can then choose out of all those same answers. Notice it puts all the answers into the drop down list. Uh, notice they are, sort are sorted in not necessarily alphabetical order, but they're in the same order in each drop down list. So JPEG, SVG, PNG, GIF, JPEG, SVG, PNG, GIF. So the drop down lists are still all the same to make it easier. If you have something in your drop down list, like a list that needs to be in some sort of order, you can do that, but that sort of defeats part of the purpose of it being a, a matching exercise or can, especially if these ones here on the left hand side are all in the same order as the answers. We just go one for question one, two for question two, three and four. So fill in the correct answers to check that everything's right. Animations a GIF, images transparent a PNG, vector illustrations, SVG, photo, JPEG is all correct. There we go. So that's all we needed to do to add a matching activity, a matching question type into our quiz.